Now, you might know her as one of the Bond girls from The Spy Who Loved Me with Sir Roger Moore, but Susie Vanner has had a big music career. She's also been diagnosed with stage four cancer as well as having had a brain hemorrhage. And now she's releasing her second album, That Kind of Love. Let's take a listen. Sharing you is what God is here, honey. So wrong, so wrong. Let you go, I'm no longer there. I won't keep the light on. And I'm very pleased to say that Susie Vanette joins us now. Good to see you. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. So many me. things to ask you about. <laughs> um, we'll come on to Bond films in a moment, but first let's find out a little bit about your music because. Um, a lot of people will know you for your acting, but not your singing. So when did you first start singing and why have you chosen to go back to it? Well, um, I had a contract with RCA Records when I was 19. So, um, and that was purely by fate um, that, I, that I landed it. Um, and it was during that time that I realised that I absolutely loved singing and um, maybe would make that as my career, you know? Um, and having a contract with RCA Records obviously helped that, and I loved it so much. I made three singles, and um, it went, I went on to do session singing, um, and uh, then I met my first boyfriend, who was a photographer, who took my pictures along to a film agent, oh. and, they, and she took me on as, a, as an actress, and um, I didn't stop working, so I couldn't go back to singing, which is why I've come full circle now to my first love. Yeah, and, and you've called the album That Kind of Love. Yeah. So what's the theme of the album with, with this sort of return to your singing career? Well, I've done another album before this one, so that had a theme to it as well. So this one is slightly different. Um, this one I've written songs partly myself with Kippa, the producer, my producer's Grammy Award-winning record producer, and Judy Zook, the wonderful singer-songwriter. Um, who has become a friend since, you know, we sort of... She, she found my story very um, intriguing and wonderful and, and it was a wonderful story to write songs about, you know. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, it was an amazing album to do. And the tracks are going to be all just very uplifting, really, even though they're sort of made from a broken, broken heart. What strikes me from all of the information that we, we talked about before you came on was how much of a survivor you are. <laughs> all the things that have happened to you. <laughs> Brain hemorrhage, stage four cancer. I'm going to latch on to that stage one. Three. Stage, stage two. three. stage three. Stage two. Grade three, sorry. Oh, yeah. Right, OK, okay. okay. That's, a big, yeah. that's a big difference. Mm. Apologies uh, for that. We and, what was, and what was that and, and, and what did the you cancer? do to survive it? Yeah. Oh, goodness, that's a long story, but I appreciate it. Um, you, you've got about... 20 seconds. We, sorry, yes. <laughs> yes. We ended up um, doing the other route. We d I didn't do the chemo or the radiation or the Herceptin drug. I decided to go the other route and we found that vitamin C, high-dose vitamin C, would cure, would kill my cancer cells once the cancer had been taken away and the lymph nodes. Um, treated by a German doctor who discovered all these things for me and, ger and a Greek laboratory who tested my tumour for those things that natural ingredients that would kill the cancer cells and top of the list was vitamin C. So I went and had intravenous vitamin C, changed my diet. The, the doctor who we used was a German doctor and he just changed everything and um, basically... Here you are. Here I am, yes. to tell the tale, to 15 have years a, later. To have another music career, it's brilliant. Yes, yes. You are a survivor. Yeah. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about your, the Bond film, how that was, what it was like working with uh, Sir Roger Moore, and, and also a sense of how you think Bond films have changed since then. Um, well, I think the Bond films have changed since then because they've, they were very humorous in the old days, you know, and, and with Sean Connery and Roger Moore, there was a lot of tongue-in-cheek humour, humor, and I think they've lost that a bit now. Um, although I don't, I don't mind them now. I mean, I think they're amazingly striking and they, they always will be. Um, I feel very honoured myself to have been a part of them, actually. And I still get fan mail Do through you? the post. Yeah, every week I get, I mean, from all amazing. over the world. That's amazing. Extraordinary. Amazing, yeah. And did you enjoy working with Roger Moore? Because he had that kind of arched eyebrow and that great sense yeah. of humour. Yes, he, he and he has fun. that in real life. So, yeah, he, he, we had a lot of fun doing that love scene, actually, on the fur rug by the log fire. <laughs> <in> the log <laughs> I, need, I, need sure. to, I need to Google that now. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't remember it. Yeah. But it's yeah, quite quite an iconic moment. Mm. Well, good luck with your with your album. Thank uh, it's you. lovely yes, to it's meet out you. Soon. And um, as I say, so, so many different aspects to your career that we could delve into, but unfortunately we're out of time. But I know. Uh, Susie Vanna, thanks very much indeed for coming in. We, we do Thank appreciate you for it. Thank me. you. Thank you. So, busy old show today, Jackie, but that's it from us uh, for this morning. Uh, I'll be back from six tomorrow. I think you won't be here. Watching Eurovision. Watching Eurovision. All the top <laughs> stories, though, are coming up next. They go away.